Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn how do we debug in Postman and how do we use the, use the Postman console. This is going to be very easy and very interesting. We will see how to debug with Postman console. We will understand Postman console and we will see different methods like console.log, console.info, console.warn and console.error. So let's get started and here I am on my Postman and if I go and run any of my API requests. So these are the API requests I had created earlier and if I just run any of these I'll click on send and I will get the response so you can see we get the response here in the response we can see our response body in different formats here uh, we see this uh, response status which is 200 okay we can see the response time the size of the response so if I click here you can see this is 200 okay this is the time taken by the response and we can see the different sections here then we have the size of the response and again we can see the body size the header size and all these details are here and if you want to add any tests we can add it in the test section of the request so like this we have added some tests earlier and then the result we get to see in the test result section of the response so this is how we can see our response and different sections of the response but if we have to do some more troubleshooting debugging we can go to the postman console and you can see here is the postman console at the bottom so you can click from here and this will open the postman console window and let me clear everything so we have got this postman console here you will see all the logs and you can see the details at the log level info level warning level error level and if you can also check or uncheck what level you want to see we have a clear button we can copy we can also see the timestamps and hide the network logs so let me just try to run a simple api request here this is a get request which is getting a list of users and the request I'm using is this one from this website reqres.in and this is the get list of users API and here I have also added some tests in the test section so if you see this is the test verify status code is 200 verify response time is less than 200 milliseconds I will run this request and check the postman console so we have got the response you can see the response is here everything is fine and if I check the postman console here we can see this is the request and we can expand this and here you can see the actual request also if you see in my request I was using a variable for URL and in the postman console this is resolved and I can see the actual value so this is very handy sometimes you want to see what value of variable was actually referred when you send the request so you can always check it here and then you can see the network logs here all the details here and then these are the request headers the response headers and all the details the response body is here if you click here this will open the response body in a new window here you can see the pretty raw and json you can also wrap the response and you can copy or search for something in the response so all this is here and you can see all these details here now let's say i go to the pre-request script of my request and i will say console.log console.info console.warn and console.error and I will put something here this is a log I will say here this is a information message or this is an info this is a warning and here I will say this is uh, an error error and I will save and here I will clear everything and send my request again so you can see I'm getting all this here so sometimes if you want to log something uh, which may be a log or an info or a warning or an error you can also use these commands console.log console.info console.warn and console.error and we can see all the other details as well and if you want to see the timestamps you can say show timestamps here in the console dot uh, console postman console here and you can see the 
timestamps as well here so I can see the timestamps like this and if you want to hide the network logs you can do that and then if I click on this you can see this will sync all your data and then if you want to do some more troubleshooting or debugging you can also go to the dev tools so if I go this is on my browser and if I go to view and say developer and say developer tools I can see the console here and the sources here so I can see all the details here as well okay so you can see the, this was my APIs and all these details here so if I want I can also do some troubleshooting this way as well so let me show you I will close this and I will go to view developer and developer tools and go to the console I will clear all the earlier logs and here I will run my API request and you can see all these logs are coming here so you can also use the browser dev tools to do some deeper level of debugging and troubleshooting along with postman console so with this you can do debugging and troubleshooting whenever you want to do postman console will be yet very useful and i hope this session was very useful for you i will see you in the next session thank you for watching and never stop learning